Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Reptiles. Today we're going to be soaking our snake. He has some leftover shed on his face and a little bit on his body. And the best way to get rid of this is to soak him. So that's what we're going to do. I will show you the steps to do this and how you can help get the shed off of the snake. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need to get you a tote. It needs to have a lid so that it can be secure and your snake can't get out of it. Then you're gonna need to put air holes in it because your snake is gonna be in this for 20 minutes. The tote needs to be four to six inches deep and big enough for your snake to fit in there comfortably overall. And then you're gonna fill this with an inch of water and you need to take a heat gun and make sure the water is at 86 degrees. And you're going to put your snake in there and you're going to put close the lid and you're going to let him sit for 20 minutes. And we will do that here in a minute. So what I'm going to do is turn on the hot water. Wait a little cold. And then I got my heat gun, and I'm gonna check the temperature. You need to get your temperature to 86 degrees. So that's a little past, so I'm gonna cool it down. So as you can see, he has that shed on his head and it's causing some eye caps too. So we're going to go ahead and gently just put him in this bucket. Let me get some of these little plastic pieces out. Make sure that it's the right temp. Yeah, 87, that's good. And it's going to go down a little bit. But then you're just going to put your snake in. He's not going to like it at first. So put him in there. Nope and put the lid on it. Now, he is gonna hang out in there for about 20 minutes and get a good soaking. And then after he has soaked, we're gonna take a towel and wipe him off. Now, mind you, your snake is not gonna enjoy this too much at all. But to prevent further issues down the road with shedding and eye caps and stuff like that it is a needed evil if you will and it's only temporarily your snake will appreciate it afterwards because then he'll be able to see better he'll feel better that won't be all itchy on his body and <clears throat> all right everybody so we're gonna take him out now and he's probably going to be a little jumpy. And my hope is to grab him with this towel. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of towel you use. This is more of a dish cloth because it's got those fibers that almost grab. And I think it will work better to help peel that off. But just whatever towel you can get. Come on, man. All right, so you're gonna wanna grab them behind their head. This is the best that you can hold them down. And they're not gonna like this really at all, but it's for their own well-being. And you always wipe front to back. I actually decided to get a Q-tip because he was trying to fight me pretty good. Now we got that right eye cap. I gotta get this left one. 
again careful you got to hold them with a decent amount of pressure it's not going to feel good to you it's not very enjoyable for them but afterwards they are going to appreciate it and depending on how big your snake is this fight will be a lot worse he is just a baby all right so i got his eye caps off now i'm gonna get this little bit on his nose hopefully i might just let that bit come off the rest of his body is cleared. I really was worried about his eye caps. That's what bothered me. He has real pretty eyes and I want him to be able to see so there's no chance of him biting me or anything like that. So I think I'm going to just let him be for a minute here. He ain't too thrilled about that, but he's going to he's going to appreciate it. Like he knows that now he can see better. And now his eye caps are off. Now there's more that can pull off. But really, I got the most of it. That's what I was worried about. And if his nose don't come off here in the next day, I'll probably try to take it off or whatever. But I just wanted to show you guys what you needed to do. And let me tell you, I was scared. I didn't like it. I don't like the feeling of holding him behind his head or holding him down. So that was an experience for me, as well as it is for your snake. But like right now, he can see better now, and he knows it. So that was the whole point of doing this. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay casual.